Hey, what's up you guys? It's Rob here back with another legendary video in celebration of International Women's Day and also Women's History Month. I will be discussing the gender pay gap in the United States. I found a very interesting article conducted by Pew Research you will definitely want to listen to. Uh, additionally as well, just to take a hard left, I will be uh, talking about the top five richest women in the world according to Forbes. I will discuss uh, what is a net worth, how they uh, receive that money, and so much more. Uh, so do me a quick favor, just uh, smash the like button, it'll help us get picked up by the almighty YouTube algorithm. Comment, share, do all the things uh, so we can get this channel rolling. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. All right, to start this video, let's talk about the definition of gender pay gap. Gender pay gap is quite literally the difference between compensation between men and women. That's it. That's the definition. All right, so it is 2022, right? So the big question here is why does gender pay gap still exist and why are we still talking about it? Well, according to Pew Research, there's a variety of factors that come into play, including education, work experience, uh, segregation at work, uh, there's some there's some uh, in the article that talk about some things like men tend to work longer hours, make more money to care for a family, while women tend to uh, reduce their hours to go home and take care of their families. While reading this article, I found four interesting facts. Uh, so the first one being is that back in 2020, women made 84 cents for every dollar a man made. Uh, and this was uh, this was gathered from data from hourly earnings between full and part-time uh, workers. So number two, it would take an extra 42 days for women to make the same amount men made back in 2020. Number three, women make up 57% of the entire workforce. And let me just tell you, like, I could not believe it um, especially because like there's a there's a history there's a saying that there are strength in numbers you would think with so many women uh being in the workforce that they would definitely make some uh, major changes um but there's uh even reading further there's a reason why uh that that's not it yet we're not there yet. All right, so the fourth interesting fact is that during the pandemic from February 2020 to May 2020, uh, women got hit the hardest versus men. So women lost, uh, it was calculated women lost 11 million jobs while men only lost 9 million jobs. They further go to explain the reason why because a lot of women were, pay, uh, were working lower in jobs so like you think uh your average like mcdonald's and stuff like that um this all does sound like doom and gloom however though looking at the charts and doing more research women have made leaps and bounds since the 1980s to catch up to men and also uh getting jobs and management positions and other like key positions that used to be just straight up dominated by men so you know shout out to the uh, female hustlers out there all right, so now I'm gonna have my little commentary piece on this. So one of the reasons why I'm not uh, I'm not comfortable really discussing about uh, the gender pay gap is due to the fact that me, uh, ever since I joined the workforce back in 2009, I've been in the military, and in the military, pay is extremely different. We all get paid the same, and it's based off our rank, our time in service, and any other type of uh, special pay, like combat pay, hazard duty pay, sea duty pay, you know, stuff like that. So I've been in the bubble for the past 13 years. Only thing I uh, know about the gender pay gap is what I see on the news and what I hear from my civilian friends. Uh, additionally as well, I, it's from what I see on social media and according to social media, women got no problems getting paid like a lot of them are getting you know podcast deals uh youtube deals or brand deals or creating their own companies uh from what i've seen women are, are just slaying it right now so like i said like shout out to y'all all right so let's turn let's take a hard left turn and start talking about the top five richest women in the world 
Uh, this list was created by Forrest back in April of 2021. And fun fact, from uh, from 2020 to 2021, there was an increase of female billionaires uh, up from uh, up to 36% increase. So first up, you have Francois Myers. Uh, if you can't tell, she is French. She has $74 billion, which she inherited from her mom, who inherited from her dad. Uh, the products that they created was L'Oreal. Uh, if you don't know what it is, uh, just look in your bathroom. They have like a slew of uh, products in there. <laughs> Uh, that we all use. Number two is Alice Walton, and she has a whopping $62 billion. Uh, if you haven't heard of the Walton name, you probably have heard of Walmart. Yes, their entire family owns that uh, that chain, that store chain. Uh, she inherited her money from her, her parents and uh, yeah, from her family. All right, next up is Mackenzie Scott. We all know who she is. She is the ex-wife of Jeff Bezos. Her net worth is $53 billion. That was a really, she had really good lawyers. Um, shout out to her because she has, she's a major philanthropist uh, to a lot of uh, uh, organizations that deal with uh, the LGBTQ community, uh, uh, communities for minorities and such. She's already donated like 5.8 billion dollars um you know way more than her husband has so that you know shout out to her we appreciate that all right number four is julia cox uh her entire family run in a big empire like they literally have their hands in everything um her net worth is uh 46 billion dollars and she inherited it all all right finally we have somebody i would never heard of before her name is miriam Miriam, Miriam Edelson. Forgive me if I uh, butcher her name. Uh, she and her inherited her money from her uh, deceased husband, and they were in the casino business. Her net worth is thirty-eight billion dollars. As you can see, this is a pretty amazing list. A lot of these women uh, inherited her money, and uh, a lot of them are you know, utilizing their money for good use. I provide philanthropy and such. Uh, so that's this is the end of my video. Uh, uh, happy uh, you know, International Women's Day and Women's History Month. Uh, you know, you females out there keep on hustling. Y'all will definitely change the world for the better. Uh, with that being said, uh, do me a favor if you found some type of value in this video, hit the like button, comment, do all the things. Uh, it'll help me out. With that being said, peace.